Hello everyone, Steve with West Virginia Cabin Living. In this video, we're going to compare two different types of light bulbs. So, for any of you that have watched our other videos, you'll know off to my right here, there's a closet that also serves as a set of steps up to the loft. Now, in there, there's always been a 12 volt, 75 watt incandescent light bulb. It was here when I purchased the cabin. I know it's a big amperage draw, but we never really use that light very much anyway. We just kind of click it on, get what you need out of the closet, turn it back off. So I've never really addressed it, but I've always kind of wanted to get something that was a little bit better and didn't draw nearly the amps. So it's what I did is I purchased a LED bulb that is supposed to be a 75 watt equivalent. And uh, what we'll do here, we'll take uh, the 12 volt incandescent uh, 75 watt bulb. I'll turn it on in the closet, let you guys have a look. We'll take it out. We'll put in the LED light. I'll turn it on and let you guys have a look at the brightness there so you can compare for yourselves. Then we'll take both bulbs and we'll go outside here and we'll uh, put them on the battery and we'll actually set up uh, our voltmeter or electrical tester to measure the amperage flow in both bulbs. So hang in there just a second here and uh, we'll get started with uh, the 12 volt uh, incandescent 75 watt light bulb. Okay everyone, switched off all the other lights in the cabin. We're staring into the, uh, the closet here that uh, also has the steps that, uh, that go upstairs. So I'm just standing in the kitchen kind of looking into the closet right now. Just pan around real quick and uh, I'll let you guys see what it looks like. I'm going to step up and we're going to flip the light on. Now, as I said earlier, this is, uh, this is going to be the 12 volt incandescent. So there's the bulb. You kind of see around in the closet. Closet's still kind of a work in progress here. You can see this is an exterior wall, so we still got the insulation showing. But pan around a little bit. And back up to the uh, to the light. And we'll turn this one off. Okay, folks, here we are. This is going to be the LED 75 watt equivalent. So, again, all the lights are off in the cabin. We are staring into the darkened closet. Um, so, I'll walk up and uh, turn the light on. And around through the closet again. Back up to the bulb. I think for the most part I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the difference is in amps between uh, between these two bulbs. So we'll go outside to, uh, I've got a 12-volt battery out there in a box on the front porch. We'll go out there and just use the battery to put power to both bulbs and uh, hook up our uh, electrical tester and uh, measure the amps and compare the difference between the two bulbs. So far, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Hey everyone, just a real quick size comparison on these two bulbs. Uh, on your right is the 12-volt, uh, 75-watt uh, incandescent light bulb. On the left is the LED 75-watt, 12-volt uh, equivalent. So just kind of for size, I guess, uh, comparison purposes. Okay, folks, we're out here on the porch. Uh... The battery box I have, I have one 12-volt uh, one battery here that's charged with the solar panel at my cabin. Uh, so we're just going to take a look at uh, the amperage draw difference in uh, these two types of light bulbs. We'll start out with the 12-volt, uh, 75-watt incandescent bulb. And uh, the only thing I'm going to do is just hold, uh, hold the bulb down on the positive post there on the battery. And I've got my uh, electrical tester set up where it will actually complete the circuit. I've got it set to amps. And uh, this should be able to handle about uh, 10, uh, 10 amps there in DC. So we should be fine. The bulb shouldn't pull that much. Uh, remember, 75 watts, 12 volts. So 12 divided into 75 should pull about 6.2 amps. So here we go. Complete the connection. And I am looking at 6.35 amps drawn by this bulb. 
which is a lot of amps for uh, for the amount of light you get there and very taxing on the not only the wiring but also very taxing on uh, on the battery so 12 uh, 12 volt incandescent 75 watt bulb 6.3 6.29 amps right now which is about consistent with uh, 6.25 that it works out to be mathematically so let's for comparison's sake let's take our 75 watt LED 12 volt equivalent bulb same thing just going to touch down here on my positive post use my electrical tester to complete the connection there you go looking at 0.7 amps 0.706 amps is what I'm looking at on the electrical tester so we're not even drawing a full amp with this bulb so there really is no comparison as far as amperage draw I'll let uh, let you all be the judge of uh, how bright each bulb was in the closet I have no issues with it and uh, LEDs would definitely be an option uh, moving forward if I need any additional lighting in the cabin thanks folks appreciate your time today